Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to my NHL 20 franchise mode here in Columbus, Ohio. In the previous episode, we started up the 2040-2041 regular season, and as you can tell right there, we've started up pretty good. As the calendar shows, we are currently 19-5-2, which is a pretty damn good start. Now, you might be wondering, why do you seem so glum, chum, and we haven't been as good as our calendar or our r record show. There are a few iffy things about this team that I'm kind of like, eh, eh, we could work on it, and that was kind of our biggest flaw in the postseason. Our depth wasn't great, our defense was atrocious, our big guys did not come out to play. But... Let's look on the bright side here. We are one of the best teams in the league, and we might even be the best team in the league. We, we're up by one, one point? One point up on the Coyotes. So we're the best team in the league. I know I have been spoiled rotten with this team in the past. The majority of the time I've had this team, I think we've had more 60 win seasons than we've had less than the than 60 win seasons, which is crazy. I remember a time period where we would win the President's Trophy every single year for like a seven year span or something crazy like that. I might be overreacting about that or making a big deal out of it, but this team is a dynasty. I know we were we went to five straight Stanley Cup Finals. We lost last year in pretty sad fashion. But it's hard to keep a team this competitive this long. And you have to look to your top players. You can switch out the depth players every year. Every year or so. Every offseason. But you have to have your franchise players to be a dynasty like this. You can look at the Oilers of the 80s. You can look at the Montreal Canadiens of the 70s and the 60s. The Detroit Red Wings of the late 90s. The 2000s. The Chicago Blackhawks of the 2010s. They all had players that defined an era. Patrick Kane, Jonathan Tace, Lidstrom, Iserman, <laughs> like Wayne Gretzky, Mark Messier, Guy Lafleur. All those guys defined their team. And you look to Matthew Savoie, Jeffrey Woodworth, Joshua Waugh. Did I say Joshua Waugh twice? I'm trying to make this a sentiment, sen sentimental moment. And then Stu Cam. Those are the franchise-defining players on this team. For a generation, people have lived, been born, and died. Why did I say lived and then born? I'm sorry, I'm terrible at English and it's pretty late and I'm recording, obviously, because I'm trying to pre-record a bunch before I go to Newfoundland because I'm there for five days. And I want to make sure I get everything good. Don't worry about it. <laughs> but these players have defined this team and you look to our greatness from these guys and, it, and they're very much connected. Matthew Savoie, 40 points through 26 games. He's one of the best players of all time and there is no doubt in my mind about that he's 100 points away from what he had last year but he is on pace for a oh, a good good season a very very solid season so far 26 games played 21 goals 19 assists good for 40 points almost 1900 career points he'll hit that this year He'll also hit 1,500 games. So you could, at the end of the day, once Matthew Savoie and Woodworth are retired, Matthew Savoie might end up with more points than Woodworth. That is a possibility. Depends when everybody retires. Savoie could be easily done this year. Woodworth is literally hanging on by a thread. <laughs> Serious. He's like my patience. He's hanging on by a thread. 87 overall, bottom six potential. Matthew Savoie is two years younger, almost full three years younger than Woodworth. He just dropped from a franchise player to an elite exact forward. 
So you could say he's played about, I, I believe, 200 less games. They're about 200 points away from each other. So Wah could end up with more points, but it depends on who retires first, you know? It, de it depends. And how good... How good is Savoie going to be after Woodworth and Wah leave him? You know, this team was built on that first line. I said from the very beginning. I remember the first time we tried that first line together. It was so... Can you go back and find that episode that we tried them together and they were dynamite? They had some of the best NHL seasons ever when they were just together. Ah, uh, brings happy memories. But now... We're at a moment in time where this is it. This is the last, last we get to see these guys play together. And I've been saying this for a few years now. Woodworth is hanging on by a thread, man. 37 points, 26 games. He's going for his 14th, yes, 14th straight 100-point season. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 4, what? Wait, 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 <laughs> hold on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 13, yeah. He's going for his 14th. I, I've done that so many times. I, apparently, I'm not very good at counting either. He's going his, for his 14th 100 consecutive 100-point season, which would break Wayne Gretzky's consecutive 100-point season record of... 13 so i think he can do it uh knock on some wood worth haha <laughs> see what i did there 26 games played he's 11 points up and he usually heats up down the stretch i hope he does it that breaking a wayne gretzky record is something you rarely get to do or even have a chance at doing i think the current one right now in the nhl is ovechkin he had a hat trick tonight as I'm recording against the Devils and oh yeah the last episode I recorded I also said that so ah I think did I say that in the last episode ah whatever ah whatever it does uh, continuity doesn't even matter Maxine Prohorkin is having the best goal scoring season of his career I mean he's not on pace for 93 points but holy moly the goal scoring is just coming naturally Playing MP3 alongside Bobby Friesen is just working. And he's not going to score many goals. That's just the honest truth. He's not going to be... He's not your goal scorer. He will pass the puck to literally anybody before he shoots. Before he shoots, you know. The 22 pen penalty minutes. Not the best, but he's scoring points. Getting a lot of points. Obviously, a lot of those assists and goals are connected to each other. MP3 and Bobby Friesen are going to be a nasty pairing in the, in the near future. Bobby Friesen is the next guy. We drafted him in confidence. Third, o third overall and 30 in the year 2037. My God, I'm terrible at speaking. <laughs> He's only going to get better. We have him signed up to a massive contract. Low salary. Long, long, long deal for us, which takes him right up into his prime and his later years. So we have him locked up. MP3, I don't know how long we... Five years exactly. They're gonna be they're gonna be connected at the hip for a very long time if they produce like this. Bobby Friesen is gonna be playing that many more minutes when Savoie takes a dip, and he'll be the front runner. Future captain material. I'm not sure. That's something we have to think about. But right now, Jeffrey Woodworth is the man. And let's not skip over Joshua Waugh. 37 years of age, 24 points, 26 games. He's definitely taken a dip. As you see right there, the first line, their plus minus is iffy. I think they're letting in more goals this year, but they're still producing. Not at, I mean, they're still producing at a really high rate. So Waugh and Woodworth, obviously. But I think just their defensive stats have taken a toll before their offensive stats. So that might be a reason. That's something we have to be diligent about heading into the playoffs. Obviously, all of them have their offensive awareness. I mean, yeah, 91 for Woodworth, 99 for Savoie. So, technically, the least offensively aware person on that line is Woodworth. But he's still a beauty. Uh, Kilo Fallon, who we did play on the third line for the majority of last... Or all last year, actually. And all of this year, 23 points in 26 games is not a 90-point pace. But he's definitely helping out that... Struggling bottom six after Dillman, Goring, it takes a dive for the worst. Their plus minus is not great. Swanson has been meh. 
Hemingway's been meh. I'm always iffy about putting a playmaker there on the fourth line. So we can look to help shape that into a better bottom six. Melvin Rodriguez, who I do like. He's young. He's technic technically a fourth line forward. Now maybe we look out there in the NHL for something. Maybe a bottom six player or a high... Like, remember when we had Ola Jorgensen? We, did we win the cup with him? I believe we did. We go out there, we win a cup. It was a... Our bottom six won us the Stanley Cup that year for sure. So Melvin Rodriguez, I would be more inclined to push him to the fourth line. Trade a Swanson for cap space. Uh, we have a bunch of assets we could trade away. None with the value to get an 89 overall forward back, but... Something that could help out this team. I mean, Bullbrook's shooting 21%. Give this guy the puck more. My god. Bottom six is something to worry about. Defense through 26 games. Abel Carlos has 13 points. You can't be mad at that. That's not top of the league for defensemen. A guy from Toronto is currently leading the league. There's a, there's a tight race up there for the Norse. But right now, they're staying healthy. Knock on some wood. They're staying healthy. They're being consistent. Stu Cam is currently our most consistent defenseman, and their plus-minus is fantastic. I mean, the pairing of Stu Cam and Wheeler, they're not putting up the most amount of points, but defensively, they're very reliable. Obviously, if you play Stu Cam next to anybody, the other guy's going to be reliable because Stu Cam makes up for all your mistakes. But I do really like the pairing of Stu Cam to Luke Wheeler. Luke Wheeler down to a 78, but I'm sure that's just morale. He's a good player. He's going to be really good. Look look at his stats there. He's going to be an offensive juggernaut. He just has to he just has to get older. Older, wiser, more experienced. I mean, this is kind of passing of the torch. Luke Wheeler actually wearing number 26. I forget if I mentioned it in the last episode. Blake Wheeler, the father of Luke Wheeler. That is canon now in this franchise mode. The father of Luke Wheeler is Blake Wheeler, the captain of the Winnipeg Jets. Passed down his number to his son, number 26, is, I think, is really, really cute, okay? <laughs> Miku Jarvanen, nine points, on pace for one of his better seasons. Walker Farmer, five points, he's pretty defensively reliable. Harold Harrington, HH, double H, not triple H. Four points, five, plus five, actually. So, not awful, or he's mad about ice time, which I don't get. We're playing him in the top four, he's getting no special team... <laughs> lines but he shouldn't be upset if we're playing him in the position he wants to play in but ea logic am i right now the biggest ugh about the season so far is that even a descriptive word ugh kavanov has not been good he's winning plenty of games 12 through 20 ain't bad he's catching up to martin broder i believe he just hit 600 he's at 601 in the next season, I want to make sure I keep him here in Columbus just so we can try and catch Martin Broder's record. He's currently, I believe, oh, I could I could Google it right now, but I, I won't because I'm too lazy at this point. 34 years of age, I believe he just turned 34, not having the best statistical season similar to, uh, there's been a few years where he's just been meh, but the backup's Holding his own, actually undefeated in the NHL so far, 7-0-0 through 10 games. I know. You're like, how does that work? He must have been pulled. I don't, I don't, I don't know. 9-12 ain't too shabby. Almost a two and a half goals again. So I assume Kavanaugh is going to get better if we make some moves through the defense, through the bottom six. I think that's our biggest liability right now. The top line was defensively, li I say liable a lot. Not liable. God, reliable. Reliable and liable are two totally different words. They're complete polar opposites. <laughs> Kavanov is special. He knows exactly what he needs to do. Postseason was not the best for him last year. He's trying to get his ninth Vesna and his 10th William M. Jennings, which is something that might not happen this year. But we're still very competitive. But... I just, I currently, I'm not even going to show you the entire league stats at this moment. Just because I want to, you can go into the last episode and check. But I will show you the league stats, as in teams and all that jazz. We are currently top of the NHL, I know. And if he, a weird start defensively to the season. But we have the goals against for one of the, one of the better teams, which isn't a surprise. 
Uh, then you got, uh, let's see, let's see, power, power play, 41%, are you kidding me? Oh, that's undeniable, they're so, so good. PK, something to work on, we must be bottom of the, yeah, we're close to, we're about mm, middle of the pack, I think, where, where was it? We're 76, we're middle of the pack, so that's something to think about, that is definitely something to think about, but I'm gonna sim a month, see where we're at. And then go from there because there's a few I did check out around the league in our off camera just to see what there is. There's a few guys, but our cap is definitely not in our favor. But we can look at that. But before but first I want to get to 2041. We will sim through December. Happy birthday to me. December 1st, obviously. Uh, <laughs> I do that every December. Big win to start out the video against Oh, Columbus. Ooh. <sighs> Harold Harrington was not having a bad season until an MCL sprain. I was talking about injuries, and I jinxed us. I'm just happy it's not, not anybody super important. January 4th, I'll put in Hamill. He should be a, a good replacement. Currently 21-5-2. Draft class, I'm not too worried about this moment. I will worry when I realize that I haven't optimized my scout. <laughs> Jesus. But we, we drafted pretty well last year, for being honest. Okay, so that is a few in a row there. Florida, I had to say something. We lose our first of the month against the Panthers. Let's turn it around against San Jose. Uh, no, Detroit, you're a dumpster fire, and I don't want to deal with dumpster fires unless I'm stealing one of your franchise players, <clears throat> Matthew Savoie. So we we lose one, win one, and lose one. LA, two straight regulation losses. Um, Excuse me, Columbus. I got a problem here. Come on, pick one up. Come on, boys. Get a W. Close one, but I'll take the points. That's two in a row. Okay, you drop two in a row. You win two in a row. Let's make it three, Pittsburgh. There we go. Now, are we going to finish the month off well? The year off well? The new Nashville Predator. <laughs> the new Nashville Predator. The Nashville Predators, we actually drop four to two. Not the best of months, but I, we might be first in the NHL, 54 points. No, the freaking, oh my god, the Blackhawks are good. Holy moly. But, if I do recall, we do have the Pittsburgh Penguins pick this year. And Arizona? But the, but the Coyotes are pretty good. Uh, Yeah, we have their pick. So, let's look at what's going on. That was an iffy month defensively I can tell we're just getting worse on that end Matthew Savoie is currently 20 points above point per game which is just phenomenal he's so so good <laughs> his goal scoring did drop off a bit that month but that tends to happen when you're shooting at 20 percent <laughs> how many power play points did 20 31 through 37 games that's incredible he's a power play machine same with jeffrey woodworth i mean they're incredible jeffrey woodworth trying to hit that 14 13th, 14th straight 100 point season it's currently nine points above point per game i think he can do it i think maybe if we make a move here it'll it'll open up scoring chances for the team in general now MP3 doing really good. Goal scoring also dropped off a bit there that month. I think we were... I mean, we might have been more tight-knit. So the first line, the plus-minus, did get better. Joshua not currently at point per game, which is weird to see, but he's old as dirt. 37 years of age, 85 overall. Still got that offensive awareness. Heading into the playoffs, we're going to need that. He's kind of the like when we had Alexander Newhook and Austin Matthews. He's there purely for offense, but now... We don't have a an actual Joshua Waugh with an Austin Matthews, if you know what I'm saying. Because Joshua Waugh used to be very defensively li reliable. Sorry, i got to stop doing that. Uh, he's playing plenty of times, so he's not the player he used to be in the slightest. But that first line is still putting up points. They're still really helping us out. We might not be a 60-win team this year. That's something... Something to not worry about, but it's something to remember. We're not the same team. We're old. We're trying to get younger, but we have to wait for those pieces to get better first. Kilo Fallon, 32 points. About where I want him at playing on the third line. Bobby Friesen took a step back there, which absolutely sucks. Man, I just want this guy to go off for once. He's starting to 
pee me off just a bit. He's not doing bad. Halfway through the season, 28 points. He's on pace for about 60. He's slowly taking steps, which I, I know all. I know you need to take steps, but I need him. I need him to take a leap. I need him to. But once he's the man, he's going to have to be the man. He's a playmaker. He's playing with MP3. I guess his production dipped off a bit. I don't know what the reasoning is there, but I need him. I need him to step up. Colton Dillman, 12 goals, 23 points. Not bad. Not on the pace he was for last year, so I'm looking at making a trade. He might be on the way out. You know, but you just signed him, Owen. $2 million is a lot. And we might... There's a player out there that I that I think might help this team out a bit. And uh, he might be on the chopping block. If we can get a player that's more defensively sound, better offensively, that might help us out a bit. Matt Goring, not bad. Half a point per game. Or, oh, under that actually. Not bad. Pretty good defensively. Ah, taking a few penalty minutes ain't good either. Armright Bullbrook. Yeah, our, our depth, not the best. Melvin Rodriguez is on pace for 20 points in a rookie season, which isn't bad as a rookie. I always expect rookies, especially in this game, to just go off, score 50, score 80, like Jeffrey freaking Woodworth. But the depth, not doing the best this year. I'm going to look at that. Defense, has it gotten any better? Abel Carl, ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. okay. So... The defense, I see a... What the... What in the blue hell? Miku Jarvan is a minus player. No, 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 no. We're changing, we're changing it up. There is no way Miku Jarvan should ever be a minus player. I think Abel Carlos and him got a move. I mean, I would, I would move Abel Carlos first. He's more offensively sound. He has plenty of power play time. I would rather move him first. Yeah, he can't be a minus player. Stu Cam not doing bad. Of course, he's going to be great. Luke Wheeler still stuck at four points. Uh, damn it. What am I supposed to do here with him? I want to move him to the AHL, but I feel he's a top six defenseman. He needs to stay there. Yet to score his first NHL goal. Harrington. Nah, okay. Hamill came in, was a minus one. He had four points in nine games, though. So. He's not bad. That's really good, actually. But it's something to remember goaltending Kavanov got better slowly but a lot of losses he's taking a he's eating a lot of losses he is he's not on pace for he's not on pace for 40 wins so we gotta we gotta change things up our goalies I mean our backup goalie in Barch is doing really good about the same numbers he had before goals against actually went down okay so I will go to entirely it does not look like Kavanaugh's going to win a Vesna this year. He's kind of... He does not have enough wins at this point. We're going to have to go on a tear. We're going to have to go on a tear. Currently, Martinek looks to be the man. 921. Ugh, they lead the NHL in wins. And they're the best team in the league currently. Now, I will go to defense. Who is leading that category currently? Morrow leads in points. But Mankari has the plus minus on his side. I'd... The computer will go with Mankari at this point. Rookie Skaters, who leads in that department. Peverly for the Avalanche. Sniper, 22 goals. He looks to be pretty, pretty good. Now forwards are all skaters. Who's leading in that category? Matthew Savoie is the best point scorer in the league. Four games at hand at the next guy in Matthew Beneers. So Chicago is just so, so good. I get it. I get why they're good. This is a, yeah, uh, yeah, spoilers, this is a guy that we're looking at bringing on to the team. Uh, he's not the most defensively sound guy. I mean, why does he have a three star? That doesn't make any sense. His face-offs aren't, but he, huh. He is a, oh, uh, I gotta, I gotta get Yuri Kovalev. Look at his shooting. He would help this team right now. Right now. If you just, we have, if we trade away Colton Dillman... That will even out the salary cap with Kovalev. We would be able to do it. 
we could do it. I hope Arizona still wants to trade him, but I'm going to look around the league, see what we can do, because I want to make a move. We're not playing the most consistent at this point. Canzanello, 30 goals tied with Kovalev. Okay, okay, who, who's leading in assists? 38 for Tenel. Tenel. Okay, so I'm going to look around the league, see what potentially there is to do get because I'm not sure I'm ri if Arizona really wants to trade that guy Ooh. but I, I just want to show you this real quick Pittsburgh is not doing so hot look at the value of that pick I'm not trading it away I'm not that's not a thing I'm willing to do I'll trade away these first because Boston looks to be pretty good we have Boston's pick oh I thought we had Arizona's ah never mind Pittsburgh that was we got him in the Giroux trade, so that's looking pretty good right now. We could get a medium elite forward in the near future. Now, Miranov's an 80. So we could try him in the NHL. He's getting plenty of time there. He's actually a really, really solid player. I'd hate to do that to him to, and stunt his growth and putting him in... Oh, Pro Horkins down to a top six. Oh, okay, okay, okay. He's having a good... That does not make any sense, EA. How the hell does he go down to a top six potential if all he is is happy? He's happy to be here. It's been a while since he's been unhappy. Okay. So, I'm going to look at uh, the league. Let's see what's on the block, obviously. Arizona. Kovalev. That is a guy... Six million dollars. Ooh. I was trying to do this trade off camera, see what I could give. We have the assets to do it. It's going to take a bit, but I think we we should. Kovalev is an elite sniper in this league, tied for most goals in the league. They want to trade him for some reason, but the computers. If I'm not, I'm going to take advantage of the computer if I if I can. They're going to trade him at some point if he's on the block. Computers always do that. So first thing of business now we're gonna have to put colton dillman there i know i was in love with colton dillman but if we can get kovalev we we gotta we gotta do that colton dillman right there so that'll almost even it out they're gonna have to retain a bit now by a bit they're gonna have to retain uh, uh about that so we could get him at a really retained price now can we i'll try the full thing first uh, about half his contract, or his half, literally half his contract. Okay, no, I don't think they'd be willing to do that. Now they, now let's let's entice them. So you want? Oh, I don't want to. I'm not trading Chucko. I will not trade Chucko. But an 84 overall goalie stuck in the AHL is something you want. You have an 85 overall goalie. Till it's not getting any, getting any younger. You have the rights to this goalie right now. That might work. Now, you can have a first round pick. You can you can easily you you want you want Columbus's our pick? You can have it. Now, we will take well, you want to you want to trade a player? Okay. So, ha <laughs> uh, anybody with one year left? Bernards. Okay, so let's say we'd have more play uh Okay, so first we're gonna have to do something. We're gonna have to trade a random player away because apparently we'd have too many ski. You know what I mean. Uh, currently, uh, uh, Helms. Sure. What? What? what you, anybody want him? Anybody want him? Nobody wants him, really. Uh, Washington. Washington, you want a second? I'll take a second. Oh, but, but uh, okay. Uh, uh, rebuilder in uh, Winnipeg. What do you mean they'd have more? Uh, oh, come on. Calgary, right? No, they don't want to. Dang it. Somebody, please. Chicago. Chicago? I could probably snag your first, right? What do you mean they'd have? It says they have 40. Yeah. Okay, Edmonton. Yes. Yes. You want to do it. Yes. Yes. Proposed trade. And then I will take... I will take a fourth round pick as well. Trade rejected. Second. Trade accepted. So we will go back to Arizona. Okay. 
Okay, Arizona. We talking. I want Kovalev. I want your Kovalev. What overall pick was this guy? Six overall pick about a long, t a long time ago. How old is this dude? 31. Okay. I see how it is now. I will hand you our first. And then you can have Muller. And then you can have... Uh, you can have the right winger in... But no, Dill, Dillman. Apparently I didn't press that right. Okay, but he's going to have to retain half. If we want to get this through and we want to have a bit of cap to handle. Or a little extra cap. If we can get him at this retained price for not only this year and next year. Damn, that would, that would be sick. So, hold on. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna have to give them Dillman. We're gonna have to give them Dillman. What do you mean they'd have forty? Ah! <laughs> oh wait, sorry. I'm just freaking out for no apparent reason. I don't need to freak out, guys. I don't need to freak out. Finards. Okay. So, but if we give them another. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm making this way too difficult for myself. I need to get this player, Brad. For... Okay, so. Hmm, we gotta make it enticing for them, so we'll give them Urquhart. And then we'll give them... We're, we're given a lot, we're given a lot here, so we'll give them Edmonton second. Okay, so we'll... we'll we won't let, we won't make them retain as much. What if we go down to two? Oh my god. Well, <laughs> we made it happen, boys. Uh, we made it happen. That's good. I, you might be saying you needed to go for more of a defenseman now. We got Yuri Kovalev. One of the best goal scorers in the league now. What are we going to do? Okay. Kur Kovalev. Where are we, where are we put this guy? Uh, huh. I would take him off. Kovalev there. Uh-huh. That works for me. Kovalev. We'll take Wa off. I know. I hate doing that to Wa, but right now we gotta play him. We gotta play Kovalev in a position to succeed now. That that works. That works. Take Wa off there. I know. I hate doing that to you, Wa, but man, we gotta, we gotta give this guy the chance to do some damage. He looks to be a beauty. If we can just get him working, get this system working a little bit better, we might have a fighting chance. Uh, go ring. What if I go? Ah, uh, Bo why would Bulbrook work there? Okay, AHL. How's the AHL looking now? Oh, right. They lost their goalie. Uh, Stewart, this random. Sure, that worked for me. Byers is now the starter. High elite goalie. That worked for me, but okay. You know what? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna roll with it. What we have now is what we have now. I want to see if it works. Trade is over and done with. We are over the cap. Not a lot of moves we can make now. So we just got to go. So currently, believe, third in the league. We're fighting for a president's trophy. But first, we're, we, we currently, we are fighting to get this team on a roll. So let's sim through the entire month of January. Welcome to 2041. St. Louis, let's start off the year right. St. Louis, come on. Kovalev wants a tie. Hello? What? You just came to this roster. Persuade. Don't you start this. Okay. You're sure gonna start right. Okay, that's... I appreciate that, bud. It's all good. Okay. Okay. Okay, St. Louis. 2-1 shootout W. What do you mean? Dude, you just got to this team. EA. Fix it. Oh my god. This stupid... This st stupid game. Tell me... Tell me how that makes any sense. He's one of the best goal scorers in the league. Islanders. Harold Harrington is backed. Backed. Uh, he's, he's back. Kovalev, how have you been in a few games with Columbus? He scored no goals. He's got one point in two games. You better pick it up, bud. I swear to God. Hamill, you're out of the lineup. You were pretty decent while you were here. So actually defense. I was actually looking to change that up. What if we put... St Farmer. Uh... Oh yeah, I wanted to move... I want to move these guys apart. No, I wanted to move. No, that. Wheeler. 
I'm gonna try that just for a bit. I think they'd more love be level headed. You have a really solid defenseman with. I'll, I'll try that out for a bit. See if it works. Won a few in a row here. Islanders beat them close. A few one goal games. We whoop the Avalanche. Okay, let's get the 30th win of the season. San Jose. That's good. That's a good W. That's what I'm. A three nothing shutout. I don't like being shut out. That is very triggering. We trade for Kovalev, and he gets shut out by his former team. I didn't even realize that. Two straight against Carolina. 7-2 uh, crushed. But we pick up a quick W against the Pens. few rivals in a row here. Pick up a few points against Metro teams. Stop getting shut out. You're so good at offense. What are you doing? <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. Please. Ottawa, 5-1 victory. I'll take it. I'll take it. So, an iffy month. A few losses here, a few losses there, but in general, it was pretty good. Let's beat New Jersey to end off the month well. Come on. <laughs> so, I'm assuming that 70 points, that is good for third in the league still. We're fighting. Might not get a President's Trophy this year. But, you know what? I'm going to sim up to the trade deadline and then... Check out how we're doing. Okay, just just for time's sake, just because I'm kind of in a crunch here recording episodes, I'm going to sim up right here. Uh, just after the last game before the trade deadline. Washington, big 6-2 victory. Florida. Nope. Can we pick up a few in a row here? Come on. Stamkos, Labrie, Lincolns to the Pittsburgh Penguins for Jacques A. Giroux. You've already moved on from him. Really? Jesus. <laughs> and we got your first round pick for that. You couldn't even get a first? Yikes. Second and Chubarov to the Detroit Red Wings for Makala and Malkin. Ottawa, come on. Two straight. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. A 7 4 victory. Letting in a bunch of goals here. Three in a row. Make it three in a row. Make it three. Yes, sir. We can probably get 40 before the trade deadline or we'll go on some sort of skid and blow it. You know, because that's how this works. <laughs> Silver. No, we will not trade the player we just acquired. 4 nothing shutout. I'll take it. I will take it. Now that's a good defensive effort all around Tampa Bay. Not a good, not a good effort there against the Lightning. Islanders. Come on. 6-4 victory. I, oh, yeah, that's good. We're not as consistent as we used to be. I very much used to us going on like five game win streaks and then losing one and then going back on five game win streaks. But times have changed here in Columbus. No, <laughs> I refuse to do that trade. So we lose, okay, we're very iffy. So we lost one, 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 lost one, 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 lost one, one, one. Not good in our last 10. Not the best. We could be a lot better. 7-3-0 in our last 10. We could be a lot better than that. We're almost at 20 losses, which we never do. Currently, uh, the Blackhawks are just running away with it. Let's see how everybody's performed so far. Okay, Matthew Savoie currently leading this team in points. He will hit 100. Looks like Jeffrey will do that as well. Okay. Okay, 45 goals. Oh, he's good. Kovalev scored nine there in about two months. 21 points for 25 games. You know what? That's pretty good. He was on a better pace with Arizona, but I'm, they don't have the same caliber players we do. He's not playing as much time. Four power play points. He could be a bit better than that. Uh, no power play goals. Okay. He's a second line forward, which works out in our favor. We also have him at a retained contract, $4 million for the next two years, which is good. So he's he's doing pretty good so far. Woodworth should hit 100, which would mean 14 straight. We've been over this. Wah well, not doing too sh He's actually doing better since we acquired Kovalev and took him off all those lines. I wonder why. Pro Horkin has definitely dipped down the goal scoring ranks. Not as, not as strong anymore, but he's putting up good numbers. Fallon, 53. Not too shabby. Bobby Friesen, 43. Oh, you disappoint me so much, man. Come on. You just gotta miss the freeze. Ice to meet you. You gotta turn you gotta turn around, Bobby. That's just the truth. Matt Goring, 27, not bad. Rodriguez, you know what? Ever since we uh traded Mr. Colton Dillman, you've you've done better. You were at, you were on pace last time we checked 420 and you're at 
about 20. Okay. So the depth, you know what? The bottom six has gotten better. Point scoring has gone up. Their plus minuses are evening out. So a bit of winning kind of helps that. Abel Carlos with 35 points. The def defenseman not putting up as many points on the back end. Stu Cam is not the player he used to be. That is just a fact. First round, first overall pick. Franchise player in 2021. This is his 20th, 20th NHL season. Or 19th. It might be his 19th. Man, oh man. Stu Cam, what a beauty. Uh, Jarvan and not... Uh, he should be a lot better than that, plus minus wise. That, that's something to consider. Walker Farmer not doing bad either. Luke Wheeler, double the points last time we checked. Not growing at all. Because explain that to me. If he's a bust, I'm going to kill someone. 20 years of age. He should get an offseason growth. Harrington, not bad. Goaltending, has it gotten any better? You know what? Barch was undefeated last time we checked. 14 1 0, 1 shutout, 9 3. He dipped off in that department. But Kavanov is up to 30. He should be able to win 10 more. So where he's on pace for about what I want him at. Okay. 619 wins. Okay, boys. He is gonna... He's gotta do it. He can totally do it. If he doesn't retire early like some goon, he can do it. He can do it. He can totally do it. Now, I will check the entire league stats here, and then I'm just gonna sim the next month. And you know what I mean. Yeah. Matthew Savoie leading oh, by 10 points. Yeah, he's... Like, what do I say? Like, do I say anything? He's, he's close to Mar or Maurice Richard. I don't think anybody on this team has ever won that trophy on this team okay he's one goal behind malone with one game at hand you can say he should easily tie it up in the next game with a goal oh he's coming for it bennett malone 21 years of age he ooh, he's ooh, 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 minnesota i get it defense 58 point yeah he's looks like the runaway right now even if he dips behind in points he's got that plus minus and it's looking gorgeous rookie skaters Heverly is still leading the way, almost a 30-goal campaign, and we're not even done yet. 20 games left. Goaltending, it's probably the guy for Chicago, Raj Radoslav Martinek. Uh, yeah, yeah, I get that. Former St. Louis goalie, actually. Yeah, Mester, Albert Mester, former Blue Jacket. Good for you, man. Kavanov, he's at 30 wins. He's also nine wins away from first place, so that's iffy. But we have we have 20 games left. We can either be a solid team or we can be about the same pace we've been at for the last few games. I don't plan on making a trade. Our depth has gone has done a bit better. So I'm going to sim here to the end of the season. Florida Panthers. Actually, I want to slow sim that last game against the Islanders just because it might be the last regular season game for Jeffrey freaking Woodworth. <gasps> Buffalo. Come on. Does uh, make that three in a row. Four in a row. Okay. Dallas. Five in a row. Toronto. Make it six. Six in a row. Okay. Washington Capitals. Seven. And we get snapped against a rival. No! No! Oh, Jesus! Oh, that hurt. Are we in April? Are we in April? No, we're in March. No. What? <laughs> Stop. 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 No. No, don't tell me. April 15th. That's that's it. He's done. Jeffrey Woodworth is done. He's out of commission until at least game four of the first round. He's not at 100, is he? No. No. No, Jeffrey, no. Jeffrey, no, please. Oh. You're good. Hockey God, screw, screw him. Yeah, screw him. He's one of the greatest players of all time. I'm not even upset. And we just lost Joshua Watt, too. Oh, my God. The MVP line is looking sad. But this episode has been going on for very long. Uh, no. I don't want to put him in there. You know what? Screw it. Let's go with uh, MP3. You're going on that line as well, man. Emil Schals. 
Oh my god. <laughs> what is this? Uh, what is this shenaniganery? Please? Oh my god. Two of our franchise players are out. Jeffrey Woodworth will not. He ties a Wayne Gretzky record. He cannot muster 10 more points. He would have done it. He would have easily done it. He was on pace for it. I won't even slow sin the last game of the season because I'm that upset. At 50 wins, we can hit 60 if we go on a bit of a streak here. Whew, that is upsetting. That is upsetting, but at least we'll get him back. We'll get Joshua here back in a quick second. Okay, that's good. That's good. So I will... Uh, I will dress, dress this player. Uh, no. What's going on? I, <laughs> uh, I, uh, ah, uh, okay. I'm going to go best lines just for this because I'm going to, I have a brain fart at this very moment. I'm just going to go best lines for the last few games and then fix it up heading into the playoffs just because my brain currently doesn't work and I don't want to deal with that this second, but just finish the season strong, boys. Just finish the season strong. Okay. We can hit 60. We can hit 60. We can do it. We can easily do Oh my god, the injury. I thought I knocked on wood. I thought I did. And I didn't, apparently. Uh, I thought I did. New Jersey. Come on. Damn. Bullbrook's back, but guess who doesn't care? <laughs> Two straight losses. Detroit. Come on. Muster a few wins here. Okay, we can do No, we can't do it. Can we hit 59? And we do. Don't hit 60, but we finished the season strong with a lot of injuries. That just hurts. We finished the top of our division. We will be playing the New Jersey Devils in the first round. Of course, they always give us trouble. So let's go ahead and check out the point totals. Matthew Savoie does not have the season he did last year, but a damn good season nonetheless. Kovalev actually hit 50. So on this team, he had 20 goals in 45 games, half a goal. You know what? He was really, really good for us. That is a player I like having on the Steam Jeffrey. What, what? Damn it! Oh no! That sucks, man! Oh, he was gonna he was gonna hit Ugh. He could have totally hit Nah, he probably wouldn't have got twenty five points and Ugh, that hurts. Thirteen games. Ah you know what? He's gonna come back for the playoffs and he's gonna be great. Okay? I have no doubt in my mind about that. Savoie with a great season. Kovalev with a great... He's a great acquisition. Woodworth. I don't even have to talk about it. Wah. He got hurt. He was hurt there. But he came... He came back. And he helped out. Pro Horkin. 42 goals. He was on pace at a, for a really good run at the start of the season. 42 goals is nothing to be mad about. If he's a perennial 40-goal guy, I'm not going to be upset about it. Bobby Friesen. Taking small steps, slowly but surely. Uh, 61 is his best season so far, but he's gradually... He's not like he dipped down dramatically. His worst goal season, or his second worst goal season so far, his best season all around so far. So, okay. Not too shabby. Matt Goring, also not that bad. Malvin Rodriguez is on pace for... He was on pace for about 25 points. Not bad. Bullbrook, not bad either. Hemingway... Yeah, so the depth got better. I kind of gave up there in the last few games after those injuries. I know I shouldn't have, but I'm so tired. <laughs> I know I should care more, but we made the playoffs. That's all I really care about. Defense. Abel, Car Abel Carlos really turned it around there after the last time I checked. You know, I wasn't expecting anybody on the defensive core to hit 50. But I'm glad he did. Miku Jarvan with 32. He turned it around there. Obviously, this was not the best defensive season for this team. But he finished pretty strong. Stu Cam, I don't think, has ever had less than 20 points in his career. Uh, he's never had less than 20. I think he's going to call it quits this bo this year, boys. That sucks. Walker Farmer, 14. Harold Harrington, 10. Luke Wheeler finishes with 10. He's up to an 80, boys. That is good. That is very, very solid. Good. Good. Goaltending didn't get any better. Did it get any worse? Kavanov hit 41, so he is currently, I believe, I don't know the specifics, he's currently 
I would say he's under 70 wins away. I believe 60... 63. Something like that. He's 67? He can do that in the next season and a half. Easily 41 wins. Good season for him. He finished out strong. Barch was really, really solid backup. He might be... He might be the future on this team. A strong season like that, that is hard to deny. But how did the entire league do this year? I'm unsure. So, so a low-scoring league this year. You didn't see a guy like Shane right up at 141, so it was, it was an odd year. Usually you see guys in 130s, but Matthew Savoie gets his second straight. Art Ross, you gotta love that. Who led in the goal-scoring category? Oh my god, it finally happened. Matthew Savoie gets his first ever Rocket Trophy at the ripe old age of 37. So the years he scored 60, guys like Vasil Podkolzin went out there and scored 70. So for him to get this award this late into his career is a huge, huge honor. Most assists, how's it looking? 78 for Tennell. It, it was a weird year for the league, I'm not going to lie. Mankari with 73 points. He's taken home the Norse. Easy peasy lemon for Breezy. Let's see. Goaltending. It is going to go to Martinek. There is no questions. You know what? Kavanov. You know what? Uh, I think the runner up right now would be Kavanov. Mester. Not bad, but you look at the games played. One less win. If we were more consistent to start the season or after when we started this episode, he probably would have been up there or might have taken it for wins. So maybe if we made that Kovalev trade earlier, we could have been a better goaltending team. You know, you know what I mean. He might take home. Nah, he probably won't take. Uh, maybe. He might take home that. Oh, Wolf. 250 goals against. Yikes. But a pretty, pretty good season nonetheless. It was an iffy season at parts, but Peverly will take home the Calder. So, a good season. Almost 60 wins for the hundredth time, it seems. We are heading into the Stanley Cup playoffs. Let's see if we can go a bit farther this time. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this one, please leave a like, leave a comment, share with people who you think may enjoy this sort of thing. I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.